Hello and welcome to another video from Schooltech HQ. Today we're going to have a little look at the light sensor on the Microbit, which now this light sensor is used for many things. You can use it for lots of different projects. Microbits have a few projects on their website that you might want to use if you're looking at the light sensor and the global goals. One of them in particular is called Saving Turtles. I highly recommend it and I'll link it below to this video. Okay, so we're going to look at how we can use the light sensor. Now for the sensor, it is an input um, device so it will be inside our input here and if we scroll down on our input we can see there is their light level we're going to use that in a little bit first of we need to add our conditional statements now hopefully this level you know what if then statements are if you've done a program before so if something happens then something will happen so if it is raining then i will bring an umbrella so to do that we need to get rid of our on start we don't need that right now we're just going to use our forever today for this one so in the forever, we're going to go down to logic and we're going to use this if true then statement. I'm just going to add the plus now because we are going to use an else as well. Now we're not going to just use true and false. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little condition in here. So we're going to say if we go to our logic again and we scroll down, we're going to compare. So we're going to want this one here or the one below it. Doesn't matter which one you choose. And we're going to click and drag that in and you'll see, look, it wants to join in to the little hexagon true there. Once you've got the yellow line showing you to join it, just click it in and there you have it. So on the left side, we want to have our light sensor. So if we go to input, we scroll down to our lights level, click and drag. And you'll see the same thing that once that connection line is there, we can just let go and it'll slot in place. If you've seen the simulator, you now have this light level meter here. So it can go all the way from zero to 255. We're going to leave it in the middle for now. Now we want to decide what our light level is going to be. So we're going to say if it is less than, let's say 150. So if the room is darker than 150, it's going to show something. Now, if we could do this as a smiley face, so we go show icon. So in, that was in basic, good edge show icon, and we've got a heart. Now I'm going to change that to a uh, sad face because it means it's too dark. So that means though, we're saying if the light level is less than 150, then show a sad face. And you can see on the simulator, we've got our light level at 128. So show a sad face because that's less than 150. But if I put it up to here to so choose 190, it doesn't change because we haven't had another statement yet. So we need something in here to say, well, actually, if it is higher than 150, then we need to add something else. So if we go back to our show icon, if we go back to basic show icon, this time I'm going to make it a happy face. I'm going to say, yeah, it's light enough. I'm happy with the level of light in here. So we need to then test out on a simulator. So now we've got, yep, if it's below 150, Less than, it's going to be a sad face. If it's higher, it turns into a happy face. Those can be used if you want it to be an alarm or something that doesn't trigger until it is dark. Or if it has some light, it triggers. You can think of many ways you can use this light level. There you have it, a really easy way to add in your light level into your microbit. Now, once you're happy with it, you can choose it to be less than, you can choose it to be greater than. If you choose it to be equal to, oh, sorry, they are greater than choose it to be equal to, then it's only going to work when it is exactly that light level. And obviously that's going to be quite difficult to figure out in your room. So we can play around with this though. You can choose it to be less than, like I've done here, 150. And then I'll show you, I download it because our microbits are connected. So you can see I've downloaded the program onto my microbit. Right now it is saying a sad face because it's below 150 on the sensor. If I then move away though and get more light, onto it, it then turns into a happy face. Sad face, happy face. Look at that, changing with the level of light. Really fun and easy project to get you started with using Microbit's light level. Like I said as well, on the Microbit's website themselves, they have lots of activities, some of which you can use a light sensor for, especially if you're linking to global goals. Um, for example, looking at saving the turtles. If you don't know where to begin, these lessons might be the best thing for you because they are set out how to use them with videos and tutorials. So there you go, there's a way to use the light levels as part of your learning with micro bits. If you have any suggestions on how you might want to use them or ways that other people could use them, please let me know in the comment below. Till next time, see you later.
Thank you.